Political turmoil continues to worsen in Sri Lanka as protests against the ongoing economic crisis continue. In the latest, unconfirmed reports suggest that Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa might have resigned. Unofficial sources say that Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa has handed in his letter of resignation to President Gotabaya, adding that the letter was drafted after the Prime Minister arrived back in Colombo after his visit to the holy city of Anuradhapura. Meanwhile, Cabinet spokesperson said that the Prime Minister agreed to resign. Nalaka Godaheva in an interview confirmed that Mahindra Rajapaksa agreed to step down during meeting of Cabinet Ministers. Other media reports suggest that the final announcement will come later today. After Prime Minister Mahindra meets with all the MPs, an all-important meeting is underway at the Prime Minister's residence. Temple trees and reports suggest that local representatives and MPs likely to meet President Gautara by Rajapaksa as well. We're now being joined by a correspondent, the Sunni Athoda from Colombo. The Sunni, thank you so much for joining us. Now, there's a lot of back and forth on this, a lot of conflicting reports that are emerging. What do we know so far? Well, Hen, what we know so far is that there is a meeting that is currently underway at the Temple Trees with supporters of uh, Mahindra Paksa currently at the Temple Trees Conference Hall. And outside, what's interesting is right now there are two different protests happening around the vicinity of the Temple Trees. Now, one is the Maina Gogama, which has been there for several weeks now, which is the protest, the main protest that has been happening outside Temple Trees, demanding for Prime Minister Mahindra Paksa to leave. However, just moments ago, there has been a crowd that has gathered outside the Temple Trees, demanding for Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa Paksa not to resign. So this is interesting because one protest is now saying uh, PM do not resign and the other one says um, for the PM to resign. So it will be interesting to see right. how these groups might clash as well. Right. The Sunni do stay on with us just to let our viewers know once again the turmoil is continuing to worsen in Sri Lanka. In the latest, unconfirmed reports have now suggested that Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa might have already resigned. Unofficial sources say that Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa has handed in his letter of resignation to President Gotabaya Rajapaksa, adding that the letter was drafted after the Prime Minister arrived back in Colombo after his visit to the holy city of Anuradhapura. Now, once again, we're being joined by the Sunni. Now, the Sunni, wh what is the reason behind there being such a back and forth on the issue of the Prime Minister's resignation? Now, till yesterday, we knew of the emergency orders and, of course, about the incident in Anuradhapura. What has happened since then? Do you have any clarity on the same? Well, Hem, in terms of clarity, like you said, it's pretty much back and forth. We have uh, multiple sources confirming that the uh, Prime Minister is very much likely to resign. However, uh, the Prime Minister's office has maintained its stance, stating that the Prime Minister will not be resigning, which is why the meeting that is currently underway at the Temple Trees will be crucial throughout the day-to-day -to, -day to know exactly when and what will be discussed, whether the Premier will be meeting all of these supporters and whether he will be making a statement. And in the event he does make a statement uh, that's where all the attention would be focused on in the coming hours right absolutely but let's not also forget that the international monetary fund will also begin the next round of technical discussions with sri lanka now what are we expecting on that front Yes, the second round of talks are expected to kick off uh, today as well. And uh, what will be interesting to see is that in the event there is a resignation of uh, the Prime Minister, that means the Cabinet of Ministers will also cease to function. So it is this present Cabinet and this present Finance Minister, Ali Sabri, who has really been holding the fort in terms of discussions with the IMF. So in the event uh, the Cabinet also steps down, uh, it will be interesting to see how best these discussions will be carried forward given that uh, obviously there will be a newer finance minister to be appointed. All right. Well, Dasuni, thank you so much for bringing us all the updates on this. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.